What's going on guys? Crypto Renegade here. In today's video, I wanna talk about a new crypto project you may have heard of called Band Protocol. I will try to explain as much of this project in the easiest way possible for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about quite yet. Band Protocol has been around for a few years, but only recently released its revised mainnet. Over the last few months, the project has partnered with dozens of notable cryptocurrency projects, including Icon and Elrond, and has seen its native band token make a cut for listing on multiple reputable, reputable exchanges, such as Coinbase and even Wabi. Great, you might be saying, but what is so special about band protocol? You're gonna kick me out of the band, huh? You're gonna fire me? Well, this is my band, I brought us together. Well, band protocol seeks to solve crypto oracles problem by creating a platform that sources reliable real world data in a decentralized manner and feeds it to dApps and smart contracts on crypto blockchains. Band's 10X price pump is not unwarranted hype and it might be just the beginning here. So what should we expect from this? We're about to find out together in this video. But before I jump into the content, I just updated my new free ebook on the seven best ways to secure your crypto, which is recently updated. It's 100% free. If you care about crypto security, check it out in the description. It'll also be pinned in the comments. All right, let's get started. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. What is Band Protocol? Band Protocol describes itself as a cross-chain data oracle. This might not tell you much if you're unfamiliar with the terminology. In cryptocurrency, a data oracle So is this the same oracle that made the, uh, the prophecy? is a program that can aggregate and connect APIs and real-world data to decentralized applications and smart contracts on various blockchains. This data can include things such as weather, stock price, crypto prices, and even flight logs. As you might have guessed, cross-chain means that Band Protocol is able to do this for multiple blockchains, not just Ethereum, something which is currently lacking and is major selling point for this particular project. The Band Protocol blockchain is known as the Band Chain and its native band token is used for staking by validators and delegators to incentivize accurate and up-to-date data feeds. As mentioned previously, Band Protocol's band chain is built using the Cosmos SDK. In addition to being blockchain agnostic, Band Protocol's Oracle is fast, cheap, and easy to implement on virtually any blockchain. So how exactly does Band Protocol work? Luckily for you, how Band Protocol works now is much easier to understand compared to how it worked before. The Ethereum version of Band Protocol involved multiple database communities, each with their own unique tokens, which were backed by the Band token and fluctuated in value based on the demand for the data within that community. The current version of Band Chain is a much simpler delegated proof of stake or DPoS mechanism for sourcing reliable data. It is essentially a network of validators and delegators which ensure consistent and accurate external data. When someone wants to request data from the band protocol, they submit a smart contract to band chain containing the details of what data they want and how they want it to be aggregated. Validators are then pseudo-randomly selected based on the weighted average of their respective stake to provide the data. They do this by fetching the data from sources specified by the smart contract and aggregating the data in the manner specified by the smart contract. This data is then stored on Bandchain and is readily available for any other requesters if there are any. If this is hard to wrap your head around, you can think of it like ordering at a restaurant. I told you I can only show you the door. You have to walk through it. You can submit an order or smart contract in our case for a burger or data and specify in that order you want mustard on one bun, ketchup on the other bun, and meaning the specific way that you want the data piled or added together. Cooks or validators are randomly selected based on how well that they can cook a burger. Maybe the best burger cook is on the can so they can choose only the second best burger cook instead. After paying for your order in band tokens, you receive your custom burger 
or data. In contrast to restaurants, this process takes three to six seconds from start to finish on the band chain and can cost less than only $1 USD. So how does the band chain work? Well, validators on the band chain are tasked with generating new blocks and processing transactions or providing data. Validators are rewarded and banned for tokens for generating new blocks and providing reliable data. Validators are able to set their own fees for the data that they're providing. Validators can also have their stake partially slashed if they are offline for too long, if they double sign transactions or charge more than their stated fee for a data request, or if they're unresponsive to data requests. In contrast, many other DPoS or POS consensus mechanisms, the amount of stake required to become a network validator is not a fixed number, but is instead dependent on the size of other validators stakes. But how goes the governance works for this protocol and what are the tokenomics behind this and also what's the future of band i'm about to answer that right now in this video let's see the band protocol governance mechanisms both validators and delegators can vote for or against proposed changes to the protocol wherein one vote is equal to one band token delegators do not have to vote in order to the same number as the validators that they are actually staking on in fact the votes from delegators override the votes cast by the validators to counterbalance the protocol's governance if a delegator does not cast his or her vote their would-be votes are automatically cast in the same manner as the validators votes there's one last thing to note about how band protocol works then why are you smiling because I know something you don't know. And what is that? I am not left-handed. Call it clever or cruel, but the new version of band protocol is designed to introduce a variable inflation rate to the band token supply. This can be anywhere between 7 to 20% per year and exists to incentivize network participation among band token holders. The goal is for a minimum of 66% of bands total circulating supply to be staked on the network by validators and delegators. This inflationary pressure was introduced to ensure the protocol remains sufficiently decentralized and secure. Now that we explain that, let's see the band protocol roadmap. So for this particular vision or roadmap, which is very similar to Chainlink, Band Protocol's revised long-term vision is to be oracle of other blockchains, both inside and outside of crypto. How am I going to get out of this? Think, think. To achieve this, the team has outlined four phases of development named after notable Chinese icons. Phase zero or Wen Cheng. This was the mainnet launch of the current iteration of band protocol, which occurred on June 10th of this year. This phase also included swapping ERC20 band tokens for mainnet band tokens. Phase one or Guan Yu, this is which we're currently involved in, involves introducing a custom scripting language for smart contract Oracle data requests on the band chain. It also focuses on integrating band chain with applications found on Ethereum and Cosmos based chains. Phase two, or Lao Z, this keeps the focus of improving blockchain interoperability, allowing for alternative payment methods and opening the doors to enterprise blockchains. Phase three, or Confucius, Srina Akun has noted that band protocol will be focusing on Asian markets for the foreseeable future. Finally, let's see the tokenomics of this project and what the future is like for band protocol. Band tokenomics. Band's price history is a sight for sore eyes and tells a tale of a little virtual engine that could. Band was introduced to the market in the middle of the crypto bear market in late 2019. Its price remained flat at around 20 to 30 cents USD for months. This was just under its ICO price of 30 cents per token. In April 2020, the band token price slowly began to climb, eventually exploding to over $17 on August 10th, exactly two months after its mainnet launch. This is a whopping 56x gain from its ICO price. Although there's been a dip like every other crypto in the market recently, band prices remain sky high compared to its starting point. 
The current price of Band is at around $5.60 with a market cap of 197 million and a circulating supply of 35 million tokens. So how do you actually get Band? The Band cryptocurrency is available for trading on several well-known exchanges, including Binance, Wabi, and Coinbase Pros. If you prefer decentralized exchanges like me, you can trade Band on the likes of Kyber Network, and Uniswap. Your best bet is probably Binance considering nearly 80% of band trading is happening there even though I don't like that platform. With all that being said, that was it for today's video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know your opinions in the comments and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video in the top right corner here on Acash Network. I will see you guys in that video now. Crypto Renegade out.